companies that you're working with or, or speaking to um, with regards to hybrid, how do you guide them to consider how they set the cadences of, of gathering or coming back together? Mm -hmm. and, and in particular, picking up on your earlier comment about the diversity that exists across employees, you know, stylistic, behaviorally, seniority level, you know, how, how, how do you advise, you know, companies or how might companies factor in that individuality that exists, you know, the, mm -hmm. the new college hire that might've been three months into a role, you know, that might be on the same team besides somebody that's been in the role for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the rip, you know, the cadences of, of, of hybrid, how? Yeah. We find very clearly when we look at the research and with my clients, so external research, my clients find that the best, best result is a team led model. Not mm -hmm. having the CEO said, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, or whatever it is, coming to the office, and not having individual employees make the decision by themselves when to come to the office, but having a team come together and work out what works best for them on when to come to the office. And it kind of makes sense, right? When you think about, okay, different teams have different needs. If you have a sales team, they probably want to spend more time in the office overall because they're energized by each other's presence, especially if they need to make outbound calls, it can be difficult. So they probably want to spend more time in the office, though from what I've seen, that's within my clients. If you have a team of programmers, they might want to get together and at the start of the sprint, and at the end of a sprint. And depending on how long the sprint is, you know, so that's a couple of days at the beginning, usually it's two weeks, a couple of days at the beginning of two weeks, and then maybe a day at the end of the two week period. So that's for engineers. If you're accountants, the, you probably want to come together for a couple of days at the end of a month to close the books, but the rest of the month, you might not want to come in at all and come in for like a week at the end of a quarter and two weeks at the end of the year. So if that's kind of accounting team. And you also want to think about how experienced the team is. The more people you have on the team who are junior and who are just learning, the more you want them to come to the office and you want at least one senior person to come to the office to provide them with mentoring and guidance. Mm 